Ray tracing is the latest generation of rendering technology to push real-time graphics closer to photorealism. It takes high-end hardware to pull off, but if you've got the PC to handle it, there's nothing else like it. Even Minecraft, known for its retro-style blocky 3D worlds, has not escaped the ray tracing glow-up. It's not enabled by default, but you're in for a magical time if you have the right hardware. Here's how to activate it. To use the ray tracing mode in Minecraft, you need to meet the following requirements. You need to be running Windows 10 or 11 64-bit edition. You need an NVIDIA RTX GPU or a Radeon RX 6000. You need an Intel Core i5 CPU and at least 8GB of RAM, but more is recommended. Please note that only the Bedrock edition of Minecraft supports ray tracing at this time. This version is also known as the Windows 10 edition, but it works just as well on Windows 11. The Java version of Minecraft, which is still immensely popular, unfortunately does not support ray tracing. While Radeon RX 6000 cards support hardware accelerated ray tracing, they don't have dedicated hardware like Nvidia's RTX cards. If you have a low-end RX 6000 GPU, you may have some performance issues with ray tracing in Minecraft, especially if you crank up the detail. You should also note that the Bedrock edition of Minecraft is available through Xbox Game Pass for PC or Game Pass Ultimate. There's no need to purchase the Bedrock edition if you have bought the Java edition in the past unless you don't want to play using Game Pass. The first step is to update your GPU drivers to the latest version. It's also a good idea to update Windows if there are any pending updates. Purchase Minecraft Bedrock Edition in the Microsoft Store app or install it from the Xbox app if you're a Game Pass subscriber. Once you launch the game, you'll have to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you're already signed in through Windows, this should happen automatically. If you open Settings and then Video and scroll down the list of settings, you'll see Ray Tracing with a toggle switch in the menu. However, this option is grayed out and you can't turn it on. To enable it, you'll need a ray tracing compatible resource pack containing suitable types of textures and lighting settings. So let's head back to the main menu and open Marketplace. In the Marketplace, you can find both paid and free content. You'll find both kinds of ray tracing packs there as well. Select the magnifying glass to open the search bar and type ray tracing where it says enter search here. At the top of the results should be several packs created by NVIDIA, which makes the RTX GPUs. You'll notice that the thumbnails have the RTX logo, although third-party packs might not. For this tutorial, we're going with one of the free RTX packs. Select the button that says Free to Claim on the back, then wait for the purchase to complete. Next, select Download. Then select Download again in the next window to confirm. Wait for the download to complete. You can't do anything else while this happens, so just be patient. After the download completes, select Create this world. Then, choose Create or Create on Realm Server if you want an online session. Wait for the resource pack to load. If you get a warning about online play not being rated, check Do not show the screen again and then select Proceed. Wait for the world generation process to complete and you should be spawned in the game. If the game still looks like regular old Minecraft, go back to the main menu, then select Settings Video and toggle the ray tracing switch to the on position. Your screen might flash briefly as the game world is re-rendered. Things should now look dramatically different. Welcome to the world of Ray Traced Minecraft. See you next time.